Hey y'all, it's your girl Anitra here with Different by Design, where faith and fashion connect. And I'm coming to you today with another video. I'm quite sure y'all got a kick out of the intro for this video. Very, it's cool, y'all wanna laugh at my vocals. That's fine, they are award winning. You know, Grammy nominated. I'm not gonna, not gonna toot my own horn, but I've gotten a nod. <laughs> Let me stop. We just get into today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Click the notification bell to stay tuned for all things faith and fashion. So today's video was definitely inspired by the song, What Do The Lonely Do? And I've heard the song several times, but I don't know why the song hit different this year, okay? Um, I'm not sure maybe I'm the only one or maybe it hit different this year for a reason so I can make this video now the holiday season I understand it can be very difficult for a lot of people now let me pause for the cause and say this video is not just for singles out there I know that there are a lot of people who are single and are completely content in their season of singleness they are living their best lives they're, you know, chosen to do their thing with or without having, you know, someone by their side to do it with, which is completely fine. They really have no interest whatsoever in switching from a season of singleness to a season of, you know, being in a relationship. Completely fine. This video is not for you. Love y'all, but this video is not for y'all. However, if you are a single and, you know, your season of singleness somehow has lasted you know longer than you thought it would last and you, while you're completely fine with being single you have found ways to occupy your time um, but at the same time deep down inside you really would much rather prefer being in a relationship and for whatever reason you just not have met that person yet this video is for you this video is also for you know people out there who may have lost a loved one or lost several loved ones you know whether it's a fresh loss and you know or it's a loss where it happened a while ago but for whatever reason the holiday season comes around and it just the the fact of knowing that person won't be there for you this year or you know be around at the family gatherings this year kind of hits a little different this video is for you as well not sure how you know the holidays became all about romantic relationships and you know being in a couple uh, but somehow it has but I feel like we need to start by recognizing that regardless of you know whatever season you're in single or relationship that Jesus is still the reason for the season and you know the point of purpose of Christmas is to celebrate the birth of Christ and the purpose of New Year's is also to celebrate new beginnings being able to start over start fresh start new things of that nature walking into something new you know this year didn't quite go the way you wanted to you made some mistakes this year the new year is the opportunity to kind of start fresh and you know learn from what you the mistakes you've made in the past and move forward into a new season but somehow, some way, both of these holidays have been made to be about being in a couple, being in a relationship. And this video, you know, for that reason, a lot of people may experience loneliness during the holiday season. However, 
If you find yourself in that situation, no worries. Make sure you watch this video in its entirety. Today I'm going to give a few tips on how you can chase away the lonely and hold on to joy this holiday season. Option number one, you can host this year. I know a lot of times, you know, it's difficult as a single, you know, especially if you are well into adulthood and a lot of people around you are, um, you know, married or in relationships or they have children and, you know, you may have children or as a single or you may be, you know, single and child free. And so now you're stuck with the, the possibility of thinking like, oh, wow. Now I have to find some place to go for the holidays. And you know, in the event you you may or may not get an invite, if you don't have an actual like family structure that you can return to, you know, it can be very, very, very daunting to have to think about it. So instead of allowing that possibility, those thoughts to come in, take the opportunity to be the host this year. I'm quite sure there are a lot of people out there who would welcome the the option to not have to cook, to not have to open their home to a whole bunch of people and have to prepare food for them and entertain for them. Instead of, you know, trying to figure out where you're gonna go, you invite everybody over this year and you be the host. You can kind of set the atmosphere, set the tone, Make sure singles and couples feel welcome. Those who have children, those who do not have children feel welcome. You can be the person to kind of set that atmosphere this year. So you don't have to worry about the possibility of where am I gonna go? Am I gonna get an invite? If I don't get an invite, it's gonna be just me. And once again, loneliness wins. So this year you be the person to be the host. Now, if this does not sound like a good time to you and the possibility of opening your home to a whole bunch of people during the holiday season stresses you out just thinking about it make sure after you finish watching this video of course i'm going to refer you to my other video ways to avoid holiday stress so insert card somewhere here option number two is you can get involved that's right you can get involved in your church you can get involved in, you know, local community organizations. You can get involved with your sorority, fraternity, you know, your employer, however you choose to handle it. But you can find a way to take your mind off of what you don't have, who's missing. You know, the fact that you're still single way past the, the time slot that you thought you would be single. You can get involved in other activities as a way to kind of take your mind off of what you don't have. A lot of times churches and other organizations during the holiday season, they will give back. They will give out toys, they will give out clothing, they will give out meals to whoever is in need. So definitely find find a way to give back this holiday season. You know, instead of sitting in the house, just ruminating on the fact of what's missing or who's missing, get involved as a way to kind of get your mind off your own situation and kind of focus on the whole purpose. Jesus came, he gave his life, use his birthday as a way to give back to others. Option number three, you can travel. You can throw caution 100% to the wind, which is one of the benefits of the single life. You can kind of put up a map, throw a dart wherever the dart lands, Hop on a plane, train, hop in an automobile, wherever you choose, wherever that dart landed, that's where you go. If you have those type of coins. If not, wherever the dart landed, I suggest you pull the dart out of the map and put it somewhere that you can afford to go. <laughs> but regardless, just enjoy your time. Don't even worry about decorating. Don't worry about whose house you're gonna go to. Take this year travel enjoy yourself take a nice solo location you know pamper yourself and do nothing enjoy your time away but even focus on the fact that things are not the way you expected them to be at this time of life just enjoy yourself have fun enjoy your vacation come back refreshed and ready to go when you return option number four you can use the day to spend time with god 
how do you, how would you feel if you know your birthday came around and people were focused on buying your birthday present people were focused on decorating for your birthday people were focused on you know getting making plans and preparations for your birthday but never actually spent time with you on that day or never actually stopped to say happy birthday to you on your birthday how would that feel to you and i think a lot of times that's what typically happens during the holiday season we get so focused on preparing for the day we get so focused on what we're going to do and, and you know buying gifts and decorations and things of that nature we do everything but stop pause for the cause and you know just tell god how grateful we are for sending his son to the earth to come and die and, and save us from our sins so i definitely recommend that you take some time you know on christmas day to kind of spend it with the lord spend you know thank the lord for sending his son thank him for coming for his grace for his mercy on and on and on if you take some time to just stop and say thank you you'll start to think about all the things that he has blessed you with even though your current you know romantic situation is not the way you thought it would be or you can stop and you know just thank the lord for the time that you had with that loved one or that friend that you may have lost just thinking about the good times and you know thanking the lord that you had the opportunity to experience that person and that person had the opportunity to experience your love and just all the great memories that you share with that person just let the lord know that you're thankful for that that way again you're not sitting there just focused on who's not here anymore what's missing you kind of have an opportunity to hold on to the good times and it's another way to take your mind off what's missing and to just stop and pause and just be grateful and thankful for the things you do have and the time that you may have spent with that person who's no longer with you the final tip is save money this year as a single i have noticed this may not be your situation if it is let me know in the comments below i have noticed as a single that i have caught myself buying gifts for each person in a couple meanwhile the couple will get together and get a, one gift for me so i end up buying two gifts because you're a couple but y'all get together save y'all coins and buy me a gift that y'all both think that i will enjoy we're not doing that this year don't go broke don't go broke save your coins i know i told you a couple steps ago that maybe you should travel yes if you have it by all means have fun hit the road do your thing but if you don't have it this year and you find yourself running around like a chicken with their head cut off trying to buy gifts don't do it this year if you're going to buy a gift make it a couple gift get them something they would both enjoy since most couples like to speak French, we, 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 make sure you respond with a they, a y'all. I felt y'all might enjoy this. <laughs> the two of y'all, them, them in the back, they, them over there. I felt like, you know, they would enjoy this. You guys would enjoy this. Don't break your neck trying to buy both of them a present because they're going to get together and buy you a gift collectively. Keep that in mind. Don't go broke this holiday season. Save your coins. The new year is coming. The new year is approaching. You don't want your bank account to look dry and empty like a barren land <laughs> lacking water. You don't want that. So save your coins this year and just find joy in that. <laughs> Let you save money this year. With that being said, thanks so much for watching this video. Are there any tips or tricks that you could share of ways to deal with loneliness this holiday season? Um, if you're a single out there, you know, let me know what you do during the holidays to kind of, you know, take your mind off of what you don't have or the fact, you know, take your mind off the fact that your romantic situation may not be the way you want it to be at this time. And if you are someone who has lost a loved one, whether it's something that's very real and very fresh, 
or something that happened in the past, let me know in the comments below how you've been managing your grief and how you handle the holiday season. Either way, I'm grateful for everyone who has watched this video. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Again, make sure you like, hit the subscribe and the notification bell to stay tuned for all things faith and fashion. Again, I'm your girl Anitra with Different by Design, where faith and fashion connect. You have Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.